oh my god i'm so scared like is he looking over here like don't look at him nah, nah, don't look at him don't look at him is he looking oh my god so they had the pd pablo on how you like it daddy uh how you do you like it from the front yeah yeah like if you don't shut the hell up it ain't no clip <laughs> what's up my sweets welcome back to my channel if you are not a part of sweets family make sure you subscribe and become part of sweets family because if you are not a part of sweets family you're hella bitter or sour and i don't know take your pick i don't know what you want to be but anyway we hella sweet over here, no cavities, and that's corny, but I'm gonna stick with it. So it's a new year, it's 2021. Happy New Year! Yeah. All right, I'm doing too much. Okay, let me calm down. I get so hyped in my videos, I don't know why. But anyway, let's get to this video. Y'all read the title, and I had to tell y'all about this because I just had to tell y'all about this. He scammed me. So anyway, I'm in high school, right? So tell me why. All right, <sighs> boom. How I'm gonna start this story? It was this guy old dq like he was so fly he had all the name brand clothes you could think of he had jordans he had gucci prada whatever you name it he had it and we just in high school anyway it's gonna add up why he had all of that stuff in a minute because it definitely wasn't his parents so y'all i'm editing this video and then i realized that i never told y'all why he had that stack of money in his pocket like why he had so much he had that much money because he was a a dealer i don't know I, youtube is funny and i don't want to say nothing crazy you know he was doing that in high school like he probably not he gotta be like the type of man right now to have like five different baby mamas and the od something of the house where he just be selling stuff like look i i'm trying to tell you or he in jail i don't know but that's why he had that money <laughs> so um let me say this before I start. Like, I think that he got left back or like, okay, I don't think he got left back. I think that he was, I think that he probably failed like one class or something like that. So he was just in like 12th grade and he was taking like one class because I used to only see him early in the morning. He never used to be there when we got out of school, which was like 2.15. But like, I would see him like 11 in the morning or something like that and before that but after that time i would never see him so anyway let me just get into the story because y'all i'm not want this video to take forever so he was cute he was fly or whatever he had a girlfriend um but let's be real this high school like who the hell take high school love serious now let me stop <laughs> they were like on and off so everybody and their mama did not take that seriously like breaking up together breaking up together honestly i was convinced he was only with her so that he could get her pants but come on what dude in high school is not with a girl for that reason let me stop let me not do that to y'all let me stop let me stop <laughs> sis stay in your bag i'm just saying stay in your bag so anyway like i was saying so he was cute or whatever as i said before let me stop saying that <laughs> let me paint the picture for y'all so we're gonna call him argan <laughs> we're gonna call him argan oil <laughs> So, all right, so argan oil. Oh, should we call him mango butter? Nah, we ain't trying to make him sound smooth. Like, get out of here. All right, so we're going to call him. No, you see, but that oil sounds smooth, too. We're going to call him. I'm going to call him Eco. We're going to call him Eco. <laughs> all right, so Eco. I had a crush on Eco. He was like a mix. He was like probably Hispanic and black. I don't know. So he had like that nice thick hair. His hair was like, <sighs> my man better not get jealous when he see this. But anyway, he was like, he had like brownish hair, his, like brownish hair, long, thick. He was light skinned, but he was mad short. Like, oh my God. Like for all y'all that's about to try to come for me, who know me, know me. <laughs> Y'all already know why I'm saying something because he's short, but we're not going to get into that. So anyway, he was short, um, but he was fly, swagged out, whatever. I was in high school, like, it don't count. So anyway, I feel like the hood is coming out of me. Like, why am I even talking like this? I don't even talk like this on a regular. What? Girl. Okay. Okay. All right. You do it too much. I liked him, didn't know him, but I liked him. I thought he was cute. So I'm like, you know what? One day I was like, I'm gonna write a letter. No, I was like, I'm gonna write a poem and I'm gonna have one of my friends give him the poem because I damn sure was gonna give him the poem. Okay, so wrote the poem, wrote my name on it, 
boom had my friend give it to him my best friend at the time we go call her argan so argan went over to him i was we, this was like in between classes so you know the bell rang and everybody's just like walking through the hallways or whatever so she goes and she gives him the um the letter and then she points to me meanwhile i'm like on the other side of the hallway talking to somebody <laughs> and i'm like i don't even remember who it was but i was like oh my god i'm so scared like is he looking over here like don't look at him nah, nah, don't look at him don't look at him is he looking oh my god she probably told him oh my god i'm like i'm just really acting like i'm talking to you but i'm not really talking to you and they was just like girl you was bugging she gave him the poem comes back to me and then we just walked away so i'm like okay cool whatever i want to say i guess he was gonna leave so it was like 11 something almost 12 and he came right up to me like it wasn't no let me give it back to her friend and her friend gets so i give him that and he gave me back a piece of paper just like mine it was folded and everything a whole piece of paper just to say you could talk to me or something like that and he put his number in there and i'm like okay but mind you when he wrote this to me y'all he was like <laughs> and I'm like, all right, it's me again. So I had to say this. I'm remembering stuff the more that I'm watching this video and editing. So when he came up to me, he did not just not say anything. Like, he just slid me the letter and was like, call me later, all right? Like, oh my, I don't know why I'm just not remembering this, but I'm remembering, yo. And when he said that, I was like. So anyway. Later on, um, I think I went back texting him, whatever. Okay, so that's not the whole point of the story. I just wanted y'all to get the beginning. You, you feel me? I just wanted you guys to get the beginning and know where I was at. Let's cut to the whole point of the story. It was a day when he was just like, oh, I want you to come see me, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. Mind you, y'all, I was not one of them. I wasn't a fast girl. Like, I knew nothing, okay? The most I had ever done was kiss somebody. I'm just saying. I just wanted to put that out there. There's no reason to be rushing. Trust me, there's no rush. So, I'm like, okay, like, whatever, whatever. So, I told Argan, and I'm like, girl, like, you got to come with me. So, she's like, yeah, I'm going to come with you. So, she's like, when does he want you to come? So, I'm like, okay, cool. Yo, when you want us to come? Because I'm like, I'm bringing my friend, blah, blah, blah. So, he's like, all right, cool for my friends. And so I'm like, whoa, your friend. Okay, cool, whatever, I guess. So, he like, yeah, tomorrow, um... You would come around like nine o'clock. So I'm like, not nine o'clock at night? He like, no, in the morning. So I'm like, so he want me to cut school? I gotta cut school? Okay. Okay, I could do that. I could, you know what? I could do that. I could do that. So yeah, I told her and she was down, of course. Argan was always down. We get to go into his house. We cut school, go to his house. And mind y'all, let me tell y'all, I was cute that day. I had on the Lot 29 shirt. It was white and it had Sylvester on it. And I had on these black jeans. They was fitted. Like, they was tight. They was nice. And then I had on, I think it was the 12s, the black and white 12s. Your girl was looking mad cute. <laughs> so, it was freezing outside. I don't remember what kind of jacket I wore, but I'm pretty sure I was trying to be cute. So, anyway, he told us how to get to his house. And we had to take the... For those of y'all who don't know, the whole reason why I'm telling this story is because the other day, I literally went to um, Wingstop with my homegirl. And it was literally on the corner of where we was at waiting for this guy that I'm telling y'all about. And I was like, yo, I'm about to tell this story time on you. Like, I'm about to tell, tell this story time to my peoples, you know? I was like, they gotta know. Like, they gotta know how trifling this dude was. Like, he, he scammed me. So anyway, so yeah, he told us, if y'all know, like, East New York. I'm from New York, so this was in East New York. And he told me we had to take the sex bus or whatever and then get off at blah, blah, blah. So we did. So we standing there waiting. I let him know, like, we here. So he like, okay, cool. Like, my homeboy is going to come pick y'all up. He's at so-and-so. Mind you, the so-and-so, wherever he was at, was nowhere near us. So I'm like, okay. He like, he'll be there in like 10 minutes. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we're standing there waiting. I'm talking to my, um, I'm talking to Argan. And she's like, we don't even know who this guy is. Like, where he from? Like, and he coming in a car. Like, what if he got other dudes in there? Blah, 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 whatever. So I'm like... I didn't even think about that. So I'm like, you're right. So she like, no, text him and ask him like, yo, like, who is this? Whatever. So I started asking him questions, whatever. So about 30 minutes go by, we're just talking. Another 20 minutes go by, we're still talking. And then I'm like, yo, it's cold. Like, we're still here waiting. Like, what is he doing? He didn't text me during that time or anything. So she like, text him back. So I texted him. I'm 
I'm saying that like she's telling me what to do. Like I didn't do it first. <laughs> like y'all gotta we gotta be here like whatever i whatever she said for me to do i was already like i'm gonna do this and she was like yeah do that i'm like yo where do you live like where do you live that we're still here waiting so he's like oh i live at blah blah, blah. yo it was two no it was one and a half blocks away from where we were standing but we out here 40 minutes, almost an hour, waiting for your friend to come pick us up who was nowhere near over here. And you just chilling in your house. Oh, my God. First red flag. No, no. That wasn't even the first red flag. The first red flag was him being on and off with his girlfriend. So, anyway. Arya was like, okay, we're walking to his house. So, we walked. Got to his house. All right, cool. So, he lived in this house that had, like, had stairs to go up and had stairs that um goes down he opened the door and it was for the one the stairs that go down so it was kind of dark so i'm like i mean it's morning time but going down there it was dark down there so i'm like okay he opens the door and we walk in there of course i let her go first because <laughs> this was scary i was not doing all that no i was scared so i was like okay so she walks in first we go in it's dark in there they got the tv on and i say they because it was a bunch of dudes in there like <laughs> y'all we go in there and i mean like when i say it was a bunch of dudes it was a bunch of dudes like there was dark spots in his house or basement whatever and some of them was dark skin you couldn't even see them like i'm not even trying to play no dark skin dudes like be real be real if you're dark skin and it's dark sometimes it's hard to see you or see yourself like don't even sit up here and act like i'm trying to play you right i'm not trying to play you it just sounds funny <laughs> you know i I love my chocolate people. <laughs> I am chocolate. <laughs> Baby, we go inside. And now here's the part that I hesitated on saying earlier. So, friend, if you're watching, well, we're not really friends like that no more. But I'm still, you know, we cool. Like, she cool. Back in the day, Argan was known as, like, I don't have a nice way to put it. So, I'm just going to say a thought. I'm just going to say it. Like, guys everywhere will always say like she's a thot she's a thot blah 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 and they'd be like oh and you hang out with her so you must be one too no honey never that <laughs> was never that and still am not that i honestly think the opposites attract so it's like she was out there like that and i wasn't so we like we didn't tip the scale it was just even you know what i'm saying so like whatever she'd be like too bold to do I would mellow, mellow her out and be like, chill, like, no, whatever, whatever. And whatever, I would be, like, too scared to do nothing crazy. Like, this, cut school and go to the dude's house. Like that. Like, she would be the one be like, yeah, like, I'm going to go with you. Da, da. So, yeah. So, I say that because as we went inside, they were playing music. So, they had the P.D. Pablo on. How you like it, daddy? Uh. How you did you like it from the front? Y'all know, y'all know for your for those of y'all who do know thumb this video up, that song was playing. And when I say all this, we already came in. She took her jacket off. I didn't. I was like, no, it's a no for me. It was cold outside. I was waiting out there for mad long. Like, no. So she had her jacket off or whatever and she started dancing. All the guys was just like, Yeah, go ahead, shake that ass, da 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 da. And I'm like, oh hell no, she better not because this dude to the left of me. The one who I was there for was like, yeah, yeah, like, if you don't shut the hell up, because I'm here for you, like, she's not here for you, it's just me. So anyway, I used to be mad, because I'm like, she about to try to take the attention away from me, but whatever. So she started dancing, she started twerking. They was all like, yeah, da, 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 you know. So she dropped it down to the floor and everything and after a while i guess she must have felt like okay like let me stop i'm doing too much and all these dudes is getting hyped and it's a lot of them all right when i say it's a lot it was like about maybe like five but that's a lot to me that's a lot it's just two girls coming up in there why is it five of y'all like he's next to me and you know everybody settled down or whatever and he's just like oh my room is in the back like we could go to the back blah 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 so i'm like go to the back for what boy you don't even know my last name like <laughs> why am i going to the back with you so i was like i'm fine right here like we can show right here he like you don't want to go to the back i'm like no i don't want to go to the back like he like so what you came here to do i'm like chill like what we're doing we're just chilling we hanging out like get to know each other like i don't even know you like that so he like 
you kissing your teeth for what? I'm like, okay. Now I'm feeling awkward because he put me in an awkward position. Like, is that what you wanted me to come here for? I was young. Come on. This is why I say stay in your bag. Like, dumb high school boys, trash. So anyway, about five minutes later, it's too early for gunshots. <laughs> so about five minutes later, he is like, um, so I got to go somewhere. So I don't know if y'all want to like come back later or whatever, like, but y'all have to leave or whatever. And I'm like, oh, it's like 10 in the morning. Is that so? Okay, cool. It didn't make sense to me at the time, but you know, it's going to make sense as I keep going. So long story short, I was like, okay, let's go. Now, mind y'all, me being a badass, um, I had $2 to get to his crib on a bus, but I damn sure didn't have it to get back home. So, Argan, she had a bus pass because she didn't live close to the school. I did. So, she was good. I wasn't. So, I'm the type of person where I'm not begging to get on the bus, the train, none of that. I'm not asking anybody, can I get on? I don't have a metro car. I No. I can't do it. I just cannot do it. I do not care what's going on. I cannot do it. Anyway, we head out the door. He's mad. And I'm just feeling awkward. We get out the door. He closes it. So I'm like, wait, what am I going to do? I don't even have $2 to get home. So she's like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> you can ask, but I know you don't like to. And I'm like, that's a no. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to knock on this boy's door and tell him to give me $2. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I banged on his door. I said, boo, 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 boo. He comes back to the door. He like, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because he was already short. And I'm standing at the top of the steps and he looking up at me. So I'm like, I need $2 to get home. He said, so you came all the way to my house didn't do nothing with me and you expect me to give you money to get home i was like no the f no he did not no you did not i was like um yes i came all the way over here and damn well you're supposed to give me two dollars to get home it's two dollars so he was like Y'all, he pulled out a stack out of his pocket. When I say a stack, I don't mean like it was little like this because we know how money is, paper money. It was about this thick and it was folded, but it was this thick. And hold on, before y'all be like, yeah, it was a bunch of ones. No, it wasn't because I was looking right at it. It was a bunch of 50s, 20s, 100s, 10s, 5s. I said, I try not to show it in my face, but on the inside, I was like, and he was getting on me talking about, I ain't, I ain't do nothing $2. That's like giving me two cents, honey, with the money that you got in your pocket. He puts his hand out to give me the money. And I snatched that shit up. Didn't say thank you and walked away. He was like, you're not going to say thank you? I looked at him and was like, <laughs> I walked to my ass. And Argan came right with me. And she was like, yo, did you see the money, sis? Did I? I seen the money. Anyway, long story short, when we ended up getting on the bus, the thing was broken. We didn't even have to put the money. And plus, I didn't even have change. Like, I just had $2. Like, so how was I got? So I got on the bus for free anyway. But $2 for that. Like, $2 to skip school. <laughs> To risk getting in trouble, risk getting my ass beat, to skip a day of learning something, <laughs> and to get freaking kidnapped or or dumb bunch of dudes up in there do something. Look, listen, $2 for that. Yeah, he scammed me. Yeah. And I know this probably wasn't the video that y'all expected it to be, but yeah, he scammed me. That was a scam. <laughs> Like, homeboy scammed me. He scammed my feelings. He scammed my dad. He scammed my life. <laughs> Therefore, moral of the story, stay in your bag, sis. Do not pay attention to these little boys, okay? Because they all scammers. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, eventually, at some point, the girl who he was on and off with... Wait, real quick, let me say this. So, the girl that he was on and off with... She had a friend, and that friend, like, wanted to legit fight me because he liked me. 
since that's not even your man, is you is y'all like doing something on the low? Like, cause why is you so in your feelings and she not? I'm confused. But anyway, let me tell y'all. So after that whole thing, whatever, about two weeks later, he ends up hitting my phone up. So I'm like, oh hell no. I'm like, Eco over here hitting me up, like, what he want? So he like, hey, what's up or whatever. So I'm like, what you want? <laughs> he calls me after that text. So I answer the phone, I'm like, hello? He's like, yo. Why are you talking to me like that? So I'm like, what? I'm like, what do you want? What do you want? He like, don't talk to me crazy like that. I'm missing you. I miss you and I want to see you. So I'm like, you miss me and want to see me? I'm like, boy, do you not recall what happened the last time I hung out with you? And do, did you forget that we don't even know each other? How you miss me? How you miss something you don't even know? So then he was like, what? How was you going to tell me what I miss and what I don't miss? Like, I love you. I love you and I want to see you. And I'm like oh no honey D <clears throat> gotta i was like um you enjoy yourself you have a nice life and do not call me again goodbye banged it on him i said never again i said that boy crazy okay and i think he called me again but i sent it to voicemail i was like he's crazy he's psycho hell no first of all you got an on and off girlfriend and then you got her best friend who over here trying to fight me but you're not her man, and I'm confused about that, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not fighting over no dude. <laughs> Trash. So, um, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. Y'all, never again. But anyway, I just wanted to tell y'all that story because it was trash okay like it was trash he scammed me <laughs> but y'all let me know if y'all enjoyed that story time definitely give this video a thumbs up like tell me what y'all would have did in that situation for real because <sighs> I don't know like boy had me waiting over an hour or just about an hour for him and all that like look 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 next next i just had to tell y'all that story but anyway y'all again if you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up comment down below and i'm gonna definitely see y'all in my next video duh